The price of the word. Item number. SCP-1066 RU. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. All discovered exemplars of SCP-1066 are to be contained in sealed packages in storage cells of Site 7. Access to the facility is permitted to personnel with a second security clearance level or higher. A written permission of at least one employee with a third, redefined fourth security clearance level is required for conducting experiments with SCP-1066. All experiments should be documented using video and audio devices. Office supply retailers are to be examined for exemplars of SCP-1066-1. Description. Object SCP-1066 is a phenomenon, supposedly an intangible sentient being that is capable of peculiar communication through the use of SCP-1066-1 and SCP-1066-2. SCP-1066-1 is a sheet of paper used to create envelopes. At present, the Foundation possesses 63, redefined, 46 exemplars of SCP-1066-1. The composition of the paper and its physical properties do not have any features or deviations. SCP-1066-2 is an envelope made of SCP-1066-1. Anomalous properties of the object appear only when certain actions are performed. An envelope SCP-1066-2 must be folded manually. Letters must be written by hand, paper, and writing tools may be arbitrary. The language in which the letter is written should be native to the writer. The letter enclosed in the envelope should consist of one sentence including one question, the answer to which is unknown to the writer. The sentence should always begin with the word, hint. After gluing SCP-1066-2, it should be opened by the person who wrote it. Opening the envelope must necessarily accompany the damage of SCP-1066-2 with hands or other devices, splicing the paper surfaces at the place of gluing will not bring any result. The subject may only ask one question. If the subject does not want to do what is written in the conditions to his or her question, but wishes to ask again, the subject must burn the envelope. It is not necessary to destroy the letter itself, it can be saved. If all of these actions are performed, the letter extracted from SCP-1066-2, together with the question, will contain some conditions that must be fulfilled by the subject to obtain an answer to a previously asked question. The conditions always require the subject to disclose some information to certain people in one way or another. If the conditions are fulfilled, the line, see the answer on the inside of the envelope, will appear in the letter, and a detailed answer to the previously asked question will appear on the inside surface of SCP-1066-2. If the message has more text than the surface of SCP-1066-2, required number of sheets of paper identical to SCP-1066-1 will be generated inside SCP-1066-2 with the answer on them. The sheets produced in this way have no abnormal properties and cannot be used as SCP-1066-2. Note. The text that appears using the anomalous effect looks like the handwriting of the subject asking the question and always begins with the phrase, my hint is. Recovery log. The object came to the attention of the organization after a man came to one of the foundation cover firm's laundry, Matilyak, in St. Petersburg on 21 February of 2015 and started to ask the employees of the institution about the SCP Foundation. He was restrained by the security service and taken to the operational base for interrogation. In his testimony, a citizen of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Veji, born in 1986, told about the anomalous object and its properties, thanks to which he was able to get information about the organization. Based on his testimony, it became known that the anomalous properties were detected after he purchased a stack of paper for envelopes. One sheet had a handwritten entry listing the necessary conditions to activate the object properties. After the operational group received all available copies of SCP-1066-1 and SCP-1066-2, Dmitry expressed his desire to work for the organization. The request was accepted and considered. A refusal was received. As the only witness, he was treated by a Class B amnesiac and released. During the next three months, Dmitriev was under secret surveillance to establish his involvement in other organizations or associations, but the surveillance did not produce any results, and the surveillance was stopped. Addendum. Experimental protocol. Inscriptions made before recovering the object. Test subject. Dmitriev AG. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, what gift for her birthday will make Speta happy? Conditions received. Tell your wife about on what you spent your salary for February this year. The answer to the question. My hint is. She'll be most pleased with a pet as a gift. She'll especially like a dog. The best would be a puppy, spitz, white color. Test subject. Dmitry AG. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, does my wife cheat on me? Conditions received. Tell your wife that you cheated on her and when you did so. The answer to the question. My hint is. No, your wife is loyal to you. Test subject. Dmitry AG. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, can you do anything else except giving hints? 
conditions received. Learn it in any other way and after that, write a book about it and publish it in three languages, no less. Footnote. Conditions were not fulfilled, the envelope was destroyed. Test subject. Mitri Veji. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, what are you? Conditions received. Get the third security clearance level in the SCP Foundation. Footnote. Conditions were not fulfilled, the envelope was destroyed. Test subject. Mitri Veji. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, how to reach this organization, which you called the SCP Foundation. Conditions received. Find the laundry called Matilyak in St. Petersburg, ask the staff. Provide assistance, don't resist their actions. The answer to the question. My hint is. You've already reached them, congratulations. What you will do now depends on you, but more on them, though. Inscriptions made after recovering SCP-1066-1. The aim of the experiment. To establish conditions and rules of interaction with the object. Test subject. Researcher data classified. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, how to ask you for answers properly. Conditions received. Tell your children about puberty and contraceptive methods. Footnote. It is worth mentioning that researcher data classified who asked the question has two children aged 14 and 13, as well as the fact that they are brought up strictly and do not have access to the internet. After these conditions were fulfilled, the line C the answer on the inside of the envelope appeared in the letter. The answer to the question. My hint is. Write a sentence with question on paper by hand, starting with the word, hint. It doesn't matter what language the question is in, all that matters is that it is your native. There is only one question that can be asked per letter, so be careful when you ask me anything. Make an envelope out of my paper and put a letter in it, then seal it. After you open the envelope, the letter will have my conditions on it, fulfill them, and I will give you an answer. If you refuse to fulfill them, but want to get an answer for another question, burn the envelope and start over. The aim of the experiment. To understand how reliable are the responses of SCP-1066. Test subject. Junior researcher data classified. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, what are the exact coordinates of Site 7, where I am now? Conditions received. Tell your partners about your first name given by your parents. The answer to the question. My hint is. You could easily get this information yourself, but I'll tell you. Site 7 is here, data classified. The aim of the experiment. To establish the limits of the possibility of obtaining answers. Test subject. Researcher data classified. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, do you have truthful answers to any questions? Conditions received. Confess to your secret crush about your feelings. Footnote. After an extended period of persuasion, researcher, data classified, agreed to fulfill the conditions and confessed his feelings, data expurged upon request of the employee, see paragraph 8, subparagraph 11 of the organization's employment contract. The answer to the question. My hint is. I know everything that the word can carry. But not for every answer there are words in your languages. When a question like this comes up, I warn you how the answer will be given. It is up to you to decide if an answer will satisfy your curiosity in this form. The aim of the experiment. To check the difference in conditions when different people raise the same question. Test subject. Researcher data classified, 1, and researcher data classified, 2. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, what is your name? Conditions received. 1. Tell your fellow workers at the morning meeting your mother's maiden name. 2. Tell the staff at the morning meeting the nickname you use in your favorite MMO. The answer to the question. My hint is. In your language, you can call me, the word, but I prefer logos. Yes, you can call me SCP-1066. Footnote. In both cases received conditions had one thing in common, the publicity of required conditions was emotionally difficult for test subjects, because both the maiden name and the game nickname sounded shameful for the subjects. The aim of the experiment. To obtain information about SCP-1066. Test subject. Researcher data classified. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, are there any other sheets that can be used to ask you questions? Conditions received. Tell your supervisor what you really think about his working methods in the organization and the value of his findings. The answer to the question. My hint is. There are other sheets of paper. But I won't tell you where to find them, you will have to do it yourself. Therefore, I advise you to carefully use sheets that you have now. Footnote. Researcher data classified, fulfilled the required conditions in this experiment, but refused to participate in further experiments with this object. The aim of the experiment. To obtain useful information for the organization. Test subject. Researcher data classified. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, where are all the bases of competing organizations located exactly? Footnote. Nothing happened, the question seems to be incorrect. The aim of the experiment. 
to obtain useful information for the organization. Test subject. Researcher data classified. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, what are the coordinates of all the chaos insurgency bases? Conditions received. Collect and share information about Site 7, including room diagrams, security service duty schedules, as well as a list of all contained SCP objects with a brief description. Preventing the dissemination of this information to anybody within 12 hours from the date of publication is forbidden. Security personnel were involved to facilitate further experiments. The aim of the experiment. To obtain useful information for the organization. Test subject. Security Officer Kluev. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, are there any employees in Site-7 who work for hostile and opposing organizations? Conditions received. Tell your superiors about the events of 24 April 2015 and the true cause of your partner's death. Footnote. The employee refused to fulfill the conditions, was suspended from duty and placed in custody until the investigation of the event specified by the object was completed. SCP-1066-2 used in the experiment was retained until the required conditions were fulfilled. The answer to the question. My hint is. Yes, there are representatives of other organizations embedded in Site-7, as well as Foundation staff who were loyal to the Foundation in the past, but are now recruited through bribery, blackmail, and mind control methods. The aim of the experiment. To obtain useful information for the organization. Test subject. Security Officer Koval. The question asked SCP-1066. Hint, what employees in Site-7 work for hostile and opposing organizations? Conditions received. Tell the security director that you are an agent of Serpent's Hand. Moreover, tell about at least two agents of your true organization working for this branch of the Foundation. Footnote. Koval opened SCP-1066-2 and read the appeared text, tried to destroy the letter and escape, but was stopped in the corridor by the security service and immobilized. Before he could be brought in for questioning, he loudly and intonationally uttered the phrase, the hand takes me. After which he lost consciousness and died a few minutes later, autopsy showed a massive cerebral hemorrhage. Apparently, Officer Koval used a keyword that activated a cognitohazard that was pre-introduced into his consciousness. Footnote. Whatever is behind the essence of SCP-1066, it is definitely sentient and perhaps all-knowing. It worth mentioning that based on the data obtained during the experiments, we can claim that it answers some questions with bigger desire than others, which consists in the degree of difficulty of required conditions. This can be due to the difficulty of obtaining the requested information from other sources. Dr. Data Classified. 